Um, I'm digging out, as you can see, a lot of rock here um, to a number of levels to remove the old floor system, which had no insulation or no damp course. Um, but it reveals, this is the back wall, the original back wall of the cottage. But if we take a look, it offers a unique opportunity to profile how this was done. You can see here, this is the base of the original floor. You can see it there into the bottom there of that. But then down below that, you see flat, very flat stones. You can see they're quite parallel, easy to place, and, and begins the process of creating foundation or stability for the wall. You've got to remember this entire wall is all done without cement. This is stone on stone, balancing and picking stones carefully. You can see it's, it's just so well done there. Uh, and that um, these of course offer great stability to the wall and you'll see them in interjected every now and again but one wonderful wonderful craftsmanship and you can see there this is what the house is resting on now i believe that is the last stone the last stone and that's sitting on soil and then the process of creating the house to think about the amount of stone if this is what came out of the floor some very really large stones there um, more here and so on um, then you can imagine the amount of stone it took to build this house it's just hard to even imagine my job is to restore it my job is to point it as you can see here putting new point in here to protect the stone so 